Yo, what up, though? It's 4 7 here, and y'all, y'all watching us on the I Don't Care What You Think podcast. You know more? That's green, right? I'm Gucci. <laughs> Yo, say no more. Nah, I fuck with y'all, bro. I appreciate y'all. No bullshit. Yo. Yo. Welcome to another episode of the I Don't Care What You Think podcast. <laughs> we got another special guest in the building. Yes, you. You know, um, my co-host Ray Spitter on vacation, so he ain't here. So he ain't here in spirit. But we got the one and only... <clears throat> Four seven in the building. Four seven, four seven, four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Four seven. Thank you, thank you. And for those who don't know who he is, he does many things. He a part of a team, but he does music as well. One of my favorite joints. Well, my favorite song out of everything I've listened to from his catalog. It's Mama's Crib. <laughs> Feel me so. Shout out Mellow Mark. Shout out Mellow Mark. I, 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 I don't care what you think. Smoke no weed at my mama crib. She don't like my homies. How I be living. Yeah. Smoke no weed at my mama's crib. Like, smoke no weed at my mommy bitch. She don't like my homies. How I be living. I can't. Share with her what I did. I feel close to the guy when I close my face. Watching right now. <laughs> so bullshit. Nah, say no more. Nah, good looking. All right, so the reason why I played two Sheesh. songs because I wanted to show people you got multiple styles and multiple lanes of delivery. So my question to you is, why is that so important <clears throat> to be that diverse? Damn. Um, I don't even know if I say it's important rather than it's. Was it natural? Like just natural? Yeah, literally natural. Cause like um, I I got a lot of insp- different inspiration for the music. Cause like um, I ain't gonna lie. I used to go to church. Like I go to church right around the corner from around here. So oh damn. Like I I grew up in the church, but like I'm obviously interested in like mad different type of rap from like the old school things like A Z and the Nas's and the whatever to the Little Wayne's to the modern day stuff that I listen to now, like drill and shit. So uh, hella just different inspiration, having the ability. I got my own computer and like a mouse. So that's about all you need <laughs> <laughs> to like do whatever you want. So uh, just the ability to just try. And like, I'm, I mean, I'm Nigerian too. So like, it really is just mad different. Like niggas ain't even hear that Afrobeat me yet. 
Yeah, you know one. <laughs> so it's one, just one thing all your songs do have is a rhythm. Nah. Whether 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 it's a song for women, whether it's a yeah. regular song, with the bride, got I the got rhythm. Looking. Good looking. Now, um, I be I be produce I produce all my tracks. So I'm a producer, so I try to make sure, at the very least, the beat gotta be smacking. I'm a producer, so I just got the confidence to start rapping really like that. Well, just as in a few years, but like, yeah, I'm a producer first for real, for real. Well, I try to be. So what? So what drove you to be? Beat gotta be smacking. Yeah, beat so smackin'. so what drove you to finally rap on your own instrumental? Mm. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> Like, I'll dibble and dabble mm-hmm. and, like, drop things here and there. But, um, uh, bro, uh, like, honestly, I'll just say niggas not using the beats I think are hard. And me just like, yo, these are not about to just collect dust on my laptop. That's for the most part. That, and then it's just like, yeah, I feel like sometimes it's just a beat that I make that's really just me. Just <coughs> to me. Like, I'll even send it to people. Show with them, and they'll literally tell me themselves, like, nah, this you type. I can't even lie. Because I used to try to do a lot of, um, I'll do, like, reference tracks for people. So, like, I, I mean, you could call a songwriter for real. I songwrite for some people. So, I'll do, like, reference tracks. Sometimes they'll send it back, like, I ain't gonna lie. This you. I don't <laughs> say no more. <laughs> like, I'm like, nah, that's all I need to hear. So, if you base that shit on, <clears throat> um, if you base it on, uh, sometimes you feel like they ain't picking the hard beats. So, you take them, you yeah. know, I think... So how do you yeah. do it? Now, now that you fully invested in rapping, how do you pick what beat you want now? Because mm. you hear it before you chop mm. it to somebody. So if before it was, mm. yeah, ain't nobody <clears throat> picking this shit, and I think this is the hard shit. Now how right, you do it? Right, 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 right. Um, now I got to be a little more selfish and like think a little bit more to it. Because at the same time, I do, I still like to work with people. Mm-hmm. That's what people forget because it's like um, I'm an artist, so... I think people like, I don't know, it's ego or whatever, time or whatever they think, like I don't want to work with people or I just want to keep the beats for myself. I got no issue letting men still probably use the same beats you even heard, you feel me? Yeah. Like remixes is real, covers is real, just like get into the beat. Uh, first on me is usually just like, if it really hit me like that, and I'm like, nah, this shit is like, if I get to write in by the time the beat is done, then yeah, that's most likely for me. If it's like, I'm um, even... <clears throat> By the time the beat done, like what in one sitting, I'm probably making like ten beats. So if the beat already tracked out and I haven't wrote something, I'm already going not forget the beat, but I'm already on to the next idea in two minutes. So if I if it didn't inspire me enough to like just at least start writing in that moment, and not that the beat's not hitting, but it's not it's not that one for me. So yeah, then later I'll probably just sit through my beats and like. Think about what vibe I'm going for, shit like that. When I figure out what I'm going for, <clears throat> if I have the beat for that, I go, I go use that. All right. so. What's the beat someone else is on? This is before you was rapping. So what's the mm-hmm. beat that you gave to someone else? Now that you do music, you wish you kept. Cash. <clears throat> Just one of them. Hmm. Hmm. It's a beat, a uh, song that this guy Wasty Monroe, he from he from Texas. Um, shout out Wasty too, Wasty Monroe. Uh, was it? I forgot the name of the song, but I produced it. That shit is smacking. It's out everywhere too. Uh, I don't remember the name. Damn, famous, famous. <clears throat> Wasty Monroe, famous. That beat is smacking, and I definitely felt like. I mean, I wrote like a little hook to it, <laughs> but like by the time that was a few like years ago, so like uh, I guess I just. I think I sent it out to him before I got to writing. So by the time I even wanted to record, he already sent the song back. I was like, oh, no, nah, this shit, you got it. So Man, Wasting my role, famous. I so do that. you um, do you write like to your non-instrumental shit? Like, do you just write for people? Like, they send you someone else's beat, like, yo, I'm trying to think of a hook. Mm-hmm. So you, you do that <clears> kind of writing too? Or do you basically no, package no. yourself? Like, these are my instrumentals, my instrumental with the hook. Or just yeah. my... I, like and I'm I'm not even saying I package myself like I do it correctly. I now just started peeping I could really do that. Like I'll do it not knowing that's what I was doing back then, you feel me? Like yeah. I'm really just sending it out trying to get shit done. So now that I know that's what I'm doing, I'm trying to package myself right. But like nah, for the most part, if somebody comes to me with an idea, it's always usually on my beat, like um that's pretty much how they figure out I make music anyways, for the most part. It's like through producing. So They'll probably come with an idea for something over my shit. If it's something else, like, I probably have, like, two songs, three songs, maybe, on other people's beat out. So, for the most part, it's just, like, P 
people come to me over my shit, and if it's like somebody else's shit, they know I could probably like redo the beat. They never really come for the songwriting though. It's usually about the beat work. Like, yo, could you redo this beat or add something to it? Yo, you know about the producer's side. Is that is that process hard for you? Like, it's not like hard, fucking but insane. is I it long? Like, like, it's kind of it's weird. Like, it's I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, like yeah, I don't even know like, which yo, route to go. Like, I don't know if I'm a producer or a rapper. First, yeah, so I then really you don't said know. you only rap on your shit. You literally. So it's like, yo. All dude. those songs you heard? <clears throat> nah, shout out my boy Don, the producer, though. Don, the producer. Don, the producer. Um, literally him and my boy Louch. Hmm. Maybe Magic. That's what I'm saying. It's probably like three or four songs out. That I, not my full beat. Next to that, every song you heard... Every song you might hear in life, most likely gonna be my own beat. I can't even lie. All right, so now that you said that, I can ask you this question. How does, you said it's not fully your beat. How does two producers make one beat? Mm. How do five people make one well, beat? Well, That's either the way, real yo, question. Maybe like so five deep on, on one, one beat. beat. So I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how this um, shit go. <clears throat> well, down the producer, down the producer, once again, shout out down the producer. I don't know if you got it. Can we get a drop or something? Like one of them. I got you, I got you. Down the producer. I want to see if I can be as tight. Down the producer. Down the producer. Yeah. Shout out him. Uh, down the producer. Chemistry is crazy. Like, chemistry is important with that shit because it's like, um, it's levels. Because obviously it's like people, <clears throat> I know who just started making beats. So uh, they need help even clicking stuff, but they might have a great idea. So they'll hum it out, blah, blah, blah. I'll do something. Or... If I find a sample, shit rocking, you know, I could throw like, it's really on you to decide when you stop. But for the most part, if I'm like, for example, if I'm using an example, if I'm making a beat from raw scratch or I'm sampling, I'll probably make up to like the melody, get a nice little loop, throw a hi-hat, if you know that, and then probably a clap just to like get the rhythm of the shit going to like, leave enough space for the other person to finish the beat how they want to and also literally just to see what they do first because it ain't nothing for me to just mute what they did and then put my shit back over it if it's not him. You feel me? So do you enjoy collabing with other producers when you do? Yeah, hell yeah. Producers first. Like, I'm trying to get more into the, um, like you said, with the with the beat stuff. I don't know the future yet. So, like, I'm, I'm hoping I could collab with people so much and, like, people's beats are hitting so much that I do want to use more people. Like send me beats. I'm a rapper now. I'm on a podcast. For rapping. Yeah, you should. You yeah, should. I'm a rapper now. <laughs> so like send me beats. Send me loops. Yeah. But I want to collab more. Yo, you ever you ever thought about putting together like an album with just all artists that you cool mm. with? Mm. But it's your album and it's like a production thing. I be seeing those, but like I, never Metro. Thought, I never really thought about it. But I mean you might just inspire that. You wanna like executive, I'm down with it, man. Ain't I'm no more. Y'all just it. seen this happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, nah, because you, you you love making beats. You, nah, you, you say how um even the features on your album. Mm -hmm. You say very it's, specific. It's, very you know specific. what I'm saying? So it's like yo, put together, <clears throat> yeah. take same amount of songs. And that's what I'm saying. Like I, I I you would say I do that, but I don't even notice I'm doing that because it's really just the pure artistry in me. Yeah. But like now that I'm realizing that's what it's called, like just putting words to shit you already do, like executive produce. Now I know what that is. I'm saying that to you what like two years ago i didn't even know really the you way just to knew you was that. producing it yeah literally nah but facts. you but you hands on with everything so mm -hmm. so what got you into producing um uh being a being a kid in the house with nothing else to do bro. parents would be working so you feel me they'd be outside and um coming off of school nothing to do like just be in the crib like i was into sports a little but that was really just for leisure time. I work out a little. That's cool. But I wasn't really dedicated to nothing enough to stick to it. So, um, yeah, just be on the game. But then the game turns into, like, you know, just learning more. And then, honestly, it really is just, if I'm being totally honest, it's really, like, one of my homies, um, Drew. It was random as hell. Like, he don't even make music. Like, he don't even make music. But, like, he had FL Studio for some reason. Uh like opened it up. Like before that, I was like messing around with like mixed craft and stuff. Yeah. Just cause like I didn't know it sounds stupid, but I didn't know people literally like how like made the music down to the T. Like I don't know. I would just hear music as a kid, never think about where this shit came from, obviously. But then <laughs> I like feel you. 
when I, like, I seen, like, I don't know what it was. I just started seeing shit where it was, like, people would be, like, looping the things or, like, it would be, like, the instrumentals to beats. And I'm like, yo, how is the instrumental made without the vocals? And then I'm realizing, like, oh, there's a production side, whatever. I'm a kid, so I'm just, like, learning all this shit little by little. So then <clears throat> it really just got into, like, learning, like, the homies was into different hobbies. Like, right after the game, they'll be, like, I don't know, going to the stool or rapping or freestyling or some shit. We, like, 14. I'm, like, what the hell's going on? So, like, um, it's just a bunch of random shit that I was just finding out about. So, really, then one day the homie just pulled up at FL Studio. He was just, like, yo, this um some uh, cousin you was in to make beats or whatever. I'm, like, make beats? He's, like, yeah. Just, like, click this shit in. I'm, like, jeez, I, I started clicking. I swear to God, I stayed in that nigga's crib for every day for like two, three months straight, and it's never been the same. Like literally, so it was really like I knew it. I knew I liked music. I'll be in church, like yo, why am I like? I ain't even worried about the prayers. Get to the section where we start bouncing in the bitch. <laughs> like, I'm like, get to the section where we start dancing. So like, I always knew I liked music, but I just never thought like about the creation of it. So bro pulled up FL Stew. I can't even lie, bro. Can't even lie. All right, keep it on, honey. Your first beat was ass. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, I don't like to boast, but not at all, bro. Not at all? Yeah, bro, I posted that, that shit on SoundCloud shit, room, put like, yeah. like 200 views, bro. Everybody in there like, ain't no way. And they was like, nah, it's over. That's why I was in there for three months. <laughs> he was like, nah, you got stay right there. I'm like, nah, this is interesting. Like, it was probably not, maybe my first, first nah, I'm lying, because my first, 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 first one, yeah. And then I started dibbling, dabbling with Garage Band. Garage band, you know, know right, come on now. Everybody got their garage band moment. Yeah. So like garage band, definitely <laughs> them ones, I, but they wouldn't even beat. Those would just be like 20 second ideas and I'll never I don't even know how to save those. So like I couldn't even call those beats. But whatever get went out as a beat, you could still go to my SoundCloud. I made sure I like keep like the first like two creations I ever had down there. Bruh, y'all go judge for yourself. Like it's not bad. Trap less than fifty, bruh. Trap less than fifty. I think that was the name of the beat. It was like a trap beat or something. Not bad, bro. Got like 70 views on SoundCloud, like five likes. That's good. <laughs> I was like, I'll take matter. that. <laughs> I thought I was up. Hey, yo, so when was the moment when you was like, oh, this ain't for play. Uh, I take mm. it serious. Jesus. Because it all started as it all started, it all started right. as fun. <clears throat> so when did right. it turn into damn? Right. I don't even, yo, that junk is such a scary moment, but like 2000. 2019 ish, 2000, like literally right before COVID. Right before COVID, like 2000, between and it, bro, I don't even know what happens with these years anymore. It's done kind of weird, but like 2018, hold on, let me think real quick. Cause COVID, like four years at this point almost, three years, damn, it's gonna be flying. But um, yeah, bro, all I know is it was definitely like my second, maybe like my second or third year in college. Like, um, cause I was just making beats randomly. Posting, it was it was more so I was looping beats I already like, like um, I fuck with MF Doom, so like MF Doom beats a lot. Rest in peace. Like I used to loop his instrumentals all the time, throw them up on YouTube. And then like because of like stuff like that, you're using other things, so like they'll be getting views and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like I was just like, oh okay, this production thing kind of cool. So um, I just start using it just start ending up into samples because i'm trying to really loop things but then i add stuff and then i push them post them they get in views or whatever so then i'm like all right say no more let me just start sending out the actual beats i'm confident to send out sent out some of those and i'm telling you literally like the second or third beat pack like i sent out um two of them ended up becoming like placements um my guy crime life cast mm -hmm. you, know, you know crime life cast you from like i don't even know brooklyn or some new york but like crime life cast like and it's crazy because like that was super like i'll even say it kind of messed me up od because because my first beat packs were sent out and they became placements what i was like this is about to be easy like, i'm thinking this is like what every beat i'm about to make is a placement which every beat i have is placement worthy but i'm not knowing how this shit work i don't yeah. really gotta work it so i'm like oh shit so like I don't know. I feel like the internet was just way so much easier just like six, seven years ago. I don't know how. But like 2017, 2018 was a different way to just work with people because everybody, I don't know, it was different. But like, yeah, 2018, I literally sent those out, got the little placement with Crime Life Cast. By the time I seen that, and he was like signed by that time. So I'm talking about like work was done. 
money was involved type. So I'm really thinking like, oh, this is easy. Easy. Like easy. So like that kind of messed me up. I can't even lie. But that was the moment where I'm like, okay, this is something to do. So I just now lock in. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm trying everything. I don't even care. Shit's consistent. I'm still like getting placements still today, but like that shit not easy, y'all. <laughs> that shit nah. not easy. It's not easy. Yo, so before we turned the camera on, you said you was a part of a team, like y'all a whole team. Yeah. Yeah, hey, shout your team out. Hey yo, um, shout out Dark Side, Dark Side, Dark Side for sure. That's like the creative collection right there. Multimedia network, like uh whatever you want to call it, artist development. We do a lot, I can't even lie. So like um it's a it's a bunch of groups like that's been helping me along the way. The Jomi crew homies, everybody like no cap, the seven gang people, everybody, MFB, shout out MFB for sure. Like it's a lot of groups that like I mess with people, individuals that I attach myself with because it's it's like they see I'm I'm to be attached to. Like, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not going nowhere, bro. And that's why I be telling people once they realize like, oh, okay, this guy actually wants to work with people and do stuff, like, bro, I'm not these rappers who don't want to fuck with niggas, blah, blah, blah. I don't fuck with niggas. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to music and getting shit done, I fuck with niggas. Totally that's the end situation. of the story. Me? End of the story. So either way, the, the dark side team right now, that's the team I'm definitely with right now, working with. We have like a whole studio space in Rodway too. So like, man, we got like artists, producers, camera people, whatever you call it, visionaries and that bitch. People will just tell you to have a, Google Calendar, like that's a huge difference. Artists don't even know about Google Calendar. Nah, they <laughs> like I had to go learn about that. Like I'm like, damn. So like, whatever you need, definitely people to go tune in with over there. Um, we're definitely expanding too. We're doing shows and everything too. So like, a lot is going on. You know, I even got one of the homies from the team, Primal. You know, I always got to rep, rep something. Like I like to be a walking billboard too. So if you got a company, any brand, tune in because I like to be a walking billboard. So, whatever you need, like, we definitely over there really trying to grow this thing and, like, connect everybody. It's typical Jersey shit. Like, shit that you hear all the time, yo, we trying to work, help the community, but it's real, bro. Like, you know it's real just by the diversity. You go over there and you see all types of different shapes, sizes, age people, and you're like, oh, yeah, you're going to relate to somebody. Yeah. You feel me? Like, we look like us, so y'all relate to us. When you yeah. go there, you bring anybody, they're going to be like, oh, that's my person, that's my little section, say no more. And just grow this shit like and it's one of our models on our bio too it's better in real life so i can only explain it so good right here it's better yeah. in real life so was y'all up. well was you nervous about taking that stance from being so low and or to building the whole team um nah just natural bro because it was just, it just like naturally happened. yeah it literally naturally happened i was sitting in the car for like a year and a half not knowing what else to do shit out of a job literally just got my car though but like now it's just hella expenses. I ain't know what to do. Was praying for just people to just trust the mission. Just not even invest if you want to call it. Just go half on things. Just in half on my brain. Just be a separate brain. Uh, and yeah, I swear to God, like in five months, I was looking back and I met my boy Alvi, met Daryl, my boy Magic put me on to them. Like it was just like. Literally, the team, the space, studio, people that just have the same like-minded energy. I swear to God, like six months out, they're just consistently asking for that junk. It just came. So it was just like one by one, we just met. Hella things happened. Because like we had like, what? We was in a crib. Crib got shut down. Went to mess with a studio. Studio thing fell through. Meant mess with another studio. Studio thing fell through. Then we got the space we have now. Mm-hmm. So it's been a journey, but it's been literally just like two, three years. Once again, I met... I met, like, that COVID thing messed me up with this time. But I'm remembering, like, I just met them during COVID. So I know I ain't even know them for more than three years. But I f- swear to God, it's been, like, 10. Yo, COVID almost me. I you wouldn't be sitting here right now if, if right. I let COVID. Because COVID almost stopped me from doing this. Because mm. I had my co-host. We was rocking. It's my cousin. We was rocking out. Mm. Then COVID happened. He had twins. I had my son during COVID. And I didn't want to bring COVID to him because yeah. I was working and all that shit. So okay. a lot of people look at COVID different because I also met another dude that do a podcast. He started his shit during COVID. Man, so right. while he posting episodes, I'm, I'm in the house not doing shit for two years. Fucking the first year of COVID, I did 10 episodes. Mm. That's 365 Man, days. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I did 10 episodes. That's not even once a month. You get what I'm saying? Like, so 
You saying COVID was a that, that that shit was fucked up. I ain't know what I was yeah. gonna do. I ain't know how I was gonna move. Yeah. And I feel you because it was like very because I, I I mean you think it was going. I mean everybody thought it was a, going crazy or it was a bad thing. But like when you come out of it, or not even out of it, when you just look back, it's like oh shit, like it was a big ass transition moment because like I didn't realize my first tape be baffling, baffling like. Oh yeah, I like to play on my word, my name too, like Baphomet before the tapes. Come on now, but like, <laughs> um, either way, like my first tape, Baphomet. I don't know why. In my mind, I'm thinking that's like seven years ago, but like, I didn't realize that was my first tape, and that was dropped in 2020. And I'm like, oh, like, hey. I really wasn't confident with the rap until literally 2020. And I promise you, you can find beats for me and random music. Probably, if you look good enough, probably damn near to like. 2015, 14, bro. Yeah, Literally. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Before I ever gave your music a listen, I told him you could come up here. Mm. What that mean? I'm about to tell you what I mean. <laughs> this, we interview mad people from different places on Zoom, whatever, in person. But I'm big with New Jersey. Mm. Like, when I mean I'm big with New Jersey, I mean, like, yo, we got legendary actors, singers, rappers, athletes, fucking everything. Companies are funded over here. Fucking yeah. downtown North got the Amazon headquarters. Yeah. Like, like Literally. everything is in New Jersey. But then when you turn on the television, we get called New York Little Brother. Little Brother. Like, no, we no, literally right. get called New York Little Brother. Like, if you go to California right now mm-hmm. and talk, they're going to tell you you sound like a New Yorker. Mm-hmm. They, ain't, they ain't even going to... Other mm-hmm. places over there don't exist. You sound like you're from New York. That's crazy to me, because I be even forgetting, like, I low-key got a little accent, too, because I told you I'm Nigerian. I be thinking I sound like an African. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what is happening? I'm like, hold up. Hey, I am American, though. <laughs> like, I go there, they're like, like, you are like America, African. America. I'm like, jeez, I don't know what to do no more. But I feel you. Baby mm-hmm. New York is crazy, though. Like, Jersey really, bro, like, how many, like, Baby New York, man. Bro, it's over. Like, just Jersey Club, bro. I be telling niggas all the time, it's not that many states that have their own genre of music. Jersey Club is a genre of music. Yes, like, it it's is. not a fad or trend. Like, that's a genre of music. Bad, what's the name? Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny. If they is using that and Beyonce is using it and everybody is using it at this point, which everybody's been using it for years to remind y'all, if everybody's using it, it is a genre at this point. It's not a trend. Same thing with like drill. Drill ain't going nowhere. It's just the killing drill is probably deed because ain't nobody trying to really, nobody kill. Like, how many people you know really, like, it's one out of every 50, what, 100 people who's a killer? So not but, that many people can relate. But drill is here to stay. Like, they're going to make the sexy drill, the whatever, smart drill. They got the R&B drill. Like, you feel me? The bounce is going, it's like trap. But, but always remember this, like, Niggas though. thought Migos was going somewhere. That's the, it's this, hair. That's the, that's the problem New Jersey got, though, because you hear what you just said. Mm. If Beyonce and them using it, and if the baby and them using it, if all these other people is using it, we don't have nobody from here right, right, big right, enough right, 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 to right, remind right, them right, right, of, right. you see what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah, Corley Ray tried it. But him, yo, you feel me? Y'all see Info 7, though. I, I, don't gotta, I gotta use more Jersey Club beats, though, because I have dopes, but I'm like, ee, I don't want to like start letting them off. But the reason, why, the reason why I told him, yeah, before here, I even listened to you, because, yo... August of last year, nobody knew me. He ain't know me. You ain't mm. know me. He ain't know me. Only he knew me. And that's because I knew him for years. Right. And I, I say, yo, if I do this, if I do this at 100%, if I don't see no growth by August of the next year, then I I could gracefully bow out. because August like this year now. Yeah, this year. Mm-hmm. But last year, August, I was like, yo, I'm going to give it 100% of my time, put yeah, the money no into a death. I'm going to really try. Okay. If there's no growth, then it's like, I, I could say I quit, but I gave it my all. Mm. So when he, when we was getting guests up here, every guest up here, we reached out to. Well, I would not know that. We we reached out to them like, yo, we would like for y'all, da, da, da. and then they'd tell somebody, and then they'd tell somebody, but we reach out to all of them. When he hit me, man, it was like Jay Z. He is Vashon. He is Vashon. That's my that's management right there. That's my brother since I was I don't even know, him. but you feel me. You got to keep the right ones around. That's and I like, usually ask niggas right like, yo, around. how y'all find our pod? I ain't even care because it was a, for somebody to see my platform and be like, damn, yo, this shit dope. Like, he got mm-hmm. different artists up here. That, and he reached out. I ain't give him no run around. He'll tell you. I hit him right back. No, I appreciate that. And I did not know that. I thought niggas want content. I want content. So like, nah, I don't check. I you know, niggas you know, be wanting the content. I thought they would be dying for podcasts. Like, I love shit like this. You will Get my be, little talk off. Bro, li- yo, listen, listen when like, I tell you. You would be surprised how many people 
don't give a fuck hmm. about content. It's over. I done had four. I done had one person cancel on me four times. He don't give a fuck about content. Uh, obviously, don't. Nah, that's kind of insane. I can't even lie. Yo, and then that's the crazy part. If I reach out to you, I obviously found you through somebody or whatever. Mm-hmm. I got on YouTube. You Google. You ain't compliment. got no interviews. That's a compliment. It's a super compliment. That's a compliment. What if you reached out to me? Like it'd be people reaching out, but it'd be scams. So I know those not real. But like I had one other um, interview at this point. This I think literally my second, no, nah, my, maybe my third interview. But the other one was my boy. What? Every time I get reached out to, I feel like I'm him. Yeah, soon like, as fire. Soon, 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 <laughs> soon as your manager was like, "Hey, yo, yeah, artist, man, I don't even need to hear it. The fact man. that you want him up yeah. here, it's once you responded, for me. it was over. And once you responded, I, then, I was then, like, yeah, no, that's tough. Then that's, that's tough. what I said too. I ain't gonna lie. After I told him, yeah, I gave you the date. I said, let me see what I just got myself into real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I said, y'all yeah, ain't even check. I ain't even check to see if he was ass. I ain't even Y'all, that's we hilarious. gonna look this shit up. I mean, because yeah. now I'm at the I would have came up here like, skibbity dabbity. Yeah, then, then I would have had to be honest with you. Now I look like I'm fucking hey, with yo. you. Like, he's like, yo, you really think I'm ass? Hey, yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Nah. Nah, tell me I'm ass if I'm ass, please. Nah, some people can't handle that. Mm. No, nah, definitely. I'm not some people, though. Like, like we got one dude that, that's about to come up here. He a singer. Mm. Popular as hell. He did a song with um Joe Button a long time ago. Mm. That shit ass. ass? Oh, and when he my sit God. down, I'm going to let him know. <laughs> bro, I love your music, but this song right here is, not is it. fucking ass, yeah. bro. Now, nah, do what you got to do. I can't wait till he get I was about to say, like, like, you got to just make I'm starting that nigga episode. <laughs> no. I'm going to ta- start swinging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When he's sick right here, because my co-host, my co-host, the reason why I'm reaching out to him, my co-host like, you got to get that nigga. I listen to his album, I'm like, oh, this nigga hard. He like, yo, but this is the first song I ever heard from him. I push play like, this shit with Joe Button? This Mm. shit fucking garbage. Joe Button is hilarious. That's how old it is. Joe Button Mm. was popping. Popping. Okay. Yeah, right. So as was Joe Button popping? Because I know about bro, but I don't know about when he was popping. Like, what year was that? I don't remember what year the song. Like around 03. Oh, for for that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> pump it up. Yeah, I know pump it up, but like, I didn't even know. I, I know that from movies. So was, I my thought nigga, it was my, recent. My nigga, so, so let me help you out with that. That's. What? He laughing, but it's a reason why I'm laughing too. <laughs> and it, you, you, you'll be surprised to know pump it up was like the biggest shit, like. Really? The biggest oh, yeah. shit on, hmm. on planet Earth. And like, they be saying that, but I can't that even see was, that. That shit was like, you know, 50 Cent in the Club? Yeah, that shit was like that. Like big, like if Joe Button uh, stopped making music, he'd be a one hit woman. <laughs> like that shit was huge, number one. Shit was <laughs> like you said, it's in movies. That's how you know it. That, yeah. that song is fucking huge. I mean, it's been carrying weight, so we still talking about it in hey. 2023. So it gotta be like big nah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> nah, you that's was mad young, but nah, Pump It Up was a big ass. Pump It Up was a big ass song that, to the point Shout when out niggas. When niggas was calling women jump offs, mm. it's because of that nigga saying it. Mm, shout out your button then. He from <laughs> Jersey too. Yeah, yeah, Jersey City. Yeah, yeah, and that's where I was born too. So shout out Jersey. You was shout born out Jersey. Jersey? Yeah, I was born in Jersey City, but I, I'm I'm raised in Union, so I claim Union for real. Nine oh eight, nine oh eight. Nah, nah, nah. Y'all Jersey Cityans, nah. Yeah. It's like Jersey City, my second home. Like, they come, yeah, they come a, up here more than any city. Yeah, I still be in there. I got family in there. Family, I told you, like a church around here and family around here is still I still be in the city, but like um nah. I'm union. I moved out there when I was like three, four or something. So I just be there though. So what's next for your music? Um everything. Really just trying to test things out. I don't I don't drop enough singles. I definitely peep that. Like I'm a but like it's not a problem. I'm a project person because like it's too much. It's just too much. Like I got a thousand. Confidently, I got a thousand beats in my computer and at least like, a hundred and fifty to two hundred songs recorded. So it's just about figuring out what to do with all that. So um, literally just f- testing the market, trying to figure out if I should drop more albums. Cause I got this whole before the tape series. I dropped before mm-hmm. the tapes. Last year, so I do plan on dropping pretty much an album with like specifically like seven out of those artists. So one by one, I'm gonna be letting those off for sure. Um, I already got Biz Fo out that came out in November. That's when my boy Almighty Biz, well, strictly business at his point. Um, and yeah, the next one I'm definitely working on is 47 Blunts with Red Eyes, but that's like in the air because I'm really trying to like just test out 
just singles, just even see what it's hitting for for me to just like be back, just working stuff, like working, really working projects. You feel me? Because it's a lot of it's a lot of material I got out, a lot of catalog that I know damn well is hitting, but people don't know is hitting because it's so much music. It's like fifty tracks that I have out, but it's like only like three projects. You feel me? So it's a lot of music that definitely just needs to shine a light, a little light on before I get to the to the new shit. Yeah, and you know what you know what Usher music did it that made me raise my ears even higher when I was listening to when we played Mama's Crib. Mm. How you pronounce his name that's featured on it? The person who's featured Philippe. Philippe. All right. Yeah, that's a shawty. Where's yeah, she from? Mama's Crib. Um, I mean, she be fucking with us in Rahway. She from Jersey. Yeah, she from Jersey. She popped up. I listened to some of her music. Mm -hmm. B Jacks, I listen to some of his music. So what also B -Jax, made B -Jax, my yeah, yeah. what made my ears jump, it was like, yeah, I listen to these people aside of you. Mm -hmm. So when I seen them on your album, I'm like, oh shit. Mm. Let me work with them. Mm. That's how, good. So like how, that. how did them relationships come to be? Um because now your boy B Jax is like one of the hottest B Jax, yeah, yeah, hottest yeah, yeah. humans nah. on earth. Nah, but right B Jax's my brother for real. Like that's literally like shout out. Nah, shout out Jax. That's my he know that's my son. Like what? That's my brother. Like Yo, Jax, um, we want you up here too. Nah, man. Jax, child, yeah, gotta see. come up here for sure. Um, it's really like bro, it's like weird. Like you would call it mob ties. It really just be knowing people that just really be tough. Like I really be telling people <laughs> I be around stars like literally regularly. Like cause like. B Jax, like to like you said, the Philippe, even like the Red Eyes, the Don, and my sons like Kev, Soze's, and all the random homies. I'm just thinking about like it really just be pure connections. Because B Jax, he actually heard about me first. Mm. He heard about my beats through my um, my homie's cousin or my cousin's homie or some one of those things. Either way, I was outside just um, at the high school that I go to, like just magging regular, smoking, chilling shit, and then. Um, he was he had he was on the phone with my my boy so then he was like yo let me let me pull up wherever you guys are so he would just pull up just start again to the chat and he, he did not shut up all night and yeah I was like yeah I rock with this boy I fuck with <laughs> it. I'm like he don't shut up the vibe is there this man's energy is too much I don't even think he do no smoking no drinking that's just him and I'm like no nah, this is insane this guy a little bit more insane than me I'm like what the hell so like say no more that's my bro but it be shit like that like. My brother's strictly business, like I met through my neighbor too. So like it's like even like at that, shout out MFB once again is mad rappers, like niggas I even fuck with in New York, like um like I mean I'm saying like all the TMV guys, the freaking it's over, like just rear side guys that I fuck with, like it's a bunch of rappers that really just be around off of just like connections I have in real life, whether it's my neighbor or a random cousin or whatever. And then we just I'm telling you the music it brings it out of people. Like, ask anybody in Jersey that's, like, been on the open mic scene and the underground, you might say, scene, like, around me and b Jack's type vibes and, like, the the underground scene like that, bro. They probably been in my crib at one point between, like, 2018 and 2020. At one point, between those years, I was literally just having niggas in my crib just to figure out once again what to, to do with the music it was just so much i have to offer like i don't even care so it's like when connections really be just genuine friendships they come to the crib probably hear somebody else recording or hear one of my beats is smacking saying say no more let me hop on that next thing you know they full-on artists if they're not fully there already you feel me so they just be really genuine connections like random things so you sit back like a proud big father when you watch them blow up. Oh, deep. And you just sit there and be like, yeah, eyes with the whip and snap him. He's lie, trying to get his flow together. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, too much. And it's crazy because, like, I'm so young in this shit, but I feel like I'm old as fuck. Like, old as shit. And people, when, like, people know that because, like, they know I've been, like, on the scene with just the pure talent for years. Like, you'll probably hear about me before I step in the room. Like, niggas have heard the goddamn 47 tag before I get there. So it's like, I fuck with that OD and I appreciate that about myself because I make sure like, that's the point. Like, even I went to a studio like a few months ago and one of the guys in there was laughing cause he was like, um, they was looking for beats 
And then I sent them beats, and he was like, yo, this is funny as hell. This email I see in, like, four other studios. I'm like, bro, I'm going to make sure my beats is sent out. Somewhere. I'm going to make yeah. sure somebody has seen that Somewhere. shit. So Product niggas cannot man. say, like, it's over, bro. I make sure I'm making sure my name is out there somehow, bro, in some way. I so, appreciate like, that grind, man. For sure, people, man. People, people. Because it be them connections. It be the random connections, and then literally just a little bit of the, because the, people don't, you know, it's a, it takes a lot to grab people's attention. So the music. The little that the music does to help, it goes a long way because, like, like you said, you just ended up listening to two other artists. People don't even listen to two songs out of the artist. Like, let yeah. them go listen to the feature and go find out. So I make sure the music is good, bro. I make sure the project cover art is good. I make sure whatever I need to get done looks good so that you have a reason to go look again. You feel me? Or at least try my best. Try my best to. All right, so how do you go about promo? Because a lot of these artists and a lot of these people, right. they think promo is just a post in a story. Please. Like, that don't leave in 24 hours. I got to sit back like the management meeting, not even the rapper meeting. <laughs> just like, oof. I ain't going to lie. That's a different bag, bro. And, like, I be telling people all the time, because once again, we got the dark side team. Yeah. So, like, I'm really on my artist development and everything and really trying to tune in with artists in different aspects, producers, everything, creatives just in general. So... They could let alone grow their shit, figure out if they even want to grow their shit, bro. Because this shit is work. Like, when people say it's work, it's work. And it's not a joke. And you got to remember, if you're being an artist or creative, you're a, you're a business if you want that to really be your life. So your job is 24-7. It's literally on you. So, like, marketing, unless you go pay for a team that you know is vetted or whatever, vetted, right? That's mm-hmm. the word? Vetted. And everything, or just like right doing the things right, like it's over. You gotta literally do all that work plus more, bro. I seen an interview with this nigga Boozy. He was telling me like it take like 10k, or I don't know if he said 100k or 10k to blow up one song, like straight from like if you if that shit just a regular song nobody's hitting, just to market it to it being a a banger and take about 10 to like 20 thousand or some crazy number. All I'm saying to niggas is, bro. Have ten thousand dollars for every song you're dropping. Either do ten thousand dollars worth of hard work, or don't. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie, this shit is not it. <laughs> like, this shit is not it. Like I'm telling you, and it's it's not crazy to think about ten thousand dollars of hard work, bro. Cause that's probably just getting you in some show places, getting you a cover cover art, nice looking cover art. What a few Photoshop. I mean, I mean, photo shoots to drop and. A music video, bro. You could do all that low key for almost free ninety nine these days, bro. Yeah, you know what's niggas biggest. Uh, iPhone pro- is crazy. I'm, I'm happy you saying that because you know what's niggas biggest problems. They see iPhone's other. Crazy. They see other artists that's bigger or that's on. Yeah. And they look at it like oh, that's because it is. Nah, mm-hmm. the motherfuckers still pay out their pocket as well. Bro, money is coming out, and like that's what I'm telling niggas. Like, just realize if you're not. Shot. I'm not, I don't, that's why I make sure my shit, I'm as sufficient, I'll do my own cover art if I need to, because it's over, I don't, I'm not having 20,000 for every no. single, bro. and that's a lot, so unless you're having 20,000, just know you gotta do some extra work, bro. and that's literally all it is, whether it's, whatever it is, and even if not, just find a team of niggas who's, niggas be around, niggas just be around smoking weed all day, just tell Holy one of them shit, niggas shoot doing them, nothing. take a photo of me real quick, like what? Get me right. That's it, bro. That's literally it. That photo, that's a picture to post on IG. You green for two weeks. Niggas is commenting. You green. That's content. It's over. People don't see it like it's that, over. man. And, I, and, and I, I don't blame them, though, because low-key, I just realized this shit within like the past like year. You feel me? Because like, I'll just push it out. See, this thing, I'll have man. a nice little rollout, but like a cover art and a visualizer and a song is not a rollout because we just rolling out to IG story. But this but this what it's I told you. over. That's what I told somebody, right? I seen that it cost the least a million dollars to fund the Kanye West album. That's the least. It be shit like that, and it's real. But 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 that's what I told somebody. It costs a million dollars. I don't have a million. You don't have a million, right? <laughs> that's what I told a nigga. Yeah, that's Kanye West. He was once worth a billion when he did Adidas shit. Mm. It cost him at least a million per song because mm. all the sampling and shit he do. Mm. The shit that had me bugging, budget your fucking self. Right. Like, say you got a tape that you want to work on right now, and you like, yo, I want to have this shit ready by the end of next summer. Mm-hmm. 
Save your money. You you make your own beats. You record yourself. Yeah. Save your money. Because once the tape is done, you need music videos. You need, yeah. like you said, photo shoots. Marketing shoot. and shit. You like need that. marketing yeah. and all that. So, yo, save your money because a nigga will save his money for some fucking Balenciagas. Yo, for some, bro. A nigga will save his, it, and I, when I mean save, I mean save every time I get paid, I'm going to throw it to the side. You know, them shit's about 1200 Nigga, I did nigga not know. Nigga, save for some shoes that he going to wear one time. I did not know niggas was copping. <sighs> and it's, it's cool because that's the point of business and they trying to have you do that and grab you in and have you spending them bands on that and forget this shit to be done. But it's crazy because I ain't know niggas was paying for shoes even with like them auto pay things with like five payments. See what I'm saying? Bro, that is a bill. That's literally a bill. That's a phone bill, bro. That's kind of insane when you think about it that way. Like, niggas is, yo, you could just subscribe to Canva Pro and make 20 albums and unsubscribe, and that's free. Like, you ain't even- That's free. <laughs> 20 and you're albums worried about, I don't have you no content, and niggas is having shoes, though. Take pictures of your shoes, at least, and make a cover art from them. I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah, like, I don't look, know, yo, bro. You looking, you looking, <laughs> like, don't know. You're looking into a Sony camera right now, I don't right? I know, bro. When my man's is taking pictures with his iPhone. We looking good. <laughs> when my man's taking pictures with his iPhone 11, what you think was the camera before that was there? Hmm. The iPhone that he got. Right. See, I made that shit look like that even with that not there. Mm. But a motherfucker, and I had to save money to get right. the camera. Now, I ain't save up money to, 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 to fucking mm. buy cooler microphones. Right. These microphones work just fine. Fine. That's a sure mic. Fine. Hello, hello. And we got that shit from the phone shop for $10 too. Mm. That's how I was going. You might have to plug me in. That's a hundred. That's a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, I'm. A, I'm we a, trying to get more like even like podcast niggas a, to I'm, fuck with our team. Yeah, man, I love, nah, my right. team gonna love you. Say no I, more. I told you I work with your team. Like like yeah. like, like the most yeah, expensive shit in this room here. is this. Mm. I saved up. Drop a this, bomb for that. And, like I, that. <laughs> and I saved up for this. This shit. This shit seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Before I had this, I had a sixty dollars mic in my laptop, yeah. and we rocked out. Like, that's what I'm saying. My laptop right now got a crack in it. Um, obviously, we got the stool and everything, so we up the equipment because that's when you get to that point and doing yeah. that. But like, that's more for clientele at this point. My laptop that I use for myself, it is four hundred dollars, cracking it. FL be shutting down every two, every two weeks. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I love the bangers that that shit making. I don't nigga, care, bro. Nigga, I'm, over, recall, bro. I'm recording you on four K. <laughs> This shit going to be by the hour because we about to pay cap effect. Nah. I'm letting you know how much this is. It. It's going to be 45 gigabytes, your episode. Hmm. The iPhone I edit on is 128 gigs. Hmm. Oh, right, right, right. Wait, so how does that work, though? I got to clean that shit dry. Nothing on it. Put that on there to drop the file to make it a smaller size. Mm-hmm. Once it becomes a smaller size, everything's fine. Hmm. And you editing everything? From our movie on the... Y'all hearing this, bro? And mind, mind you, you look at it, even the clips. So you look at the clips and all that shit. Other podcast people will be like, yo, I don't even got a cameraman. I don't even know how to edit. I don't even have a whatever that is called mixer board thing. I can't do this. It's over. And you and you and it, bro, I just said everything costs like under a band. Yeah, everything, everything, Basically. everything together is under a band. But I also I also taught myself all this shit mm-hmm. because, like you said, you got the team and everything. Yeah. I taught myself this <laughs> shit because let's say I work with your team mm-hmm. and we have a falling out. Mm. If I never taught myself this shit, now I gotta go find mm. somebody else to do this with. See how you taught yourself beats, learned how to rap. And the motherfuckers, I'd yeah, be self sufficient. Nobody's gonna come save like, it. Like you ain't, you ain't gotta do it. You ain't gotta do it. Like people think, like, oh, I do everything myself. Yeah, I had to teach myself. I had to Man. teach myself to make this shit look this. I was good. about to say that's the difference. You have to do everything by yourself. Some people think it's just cute to do that. Like, it's over. Uh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's over. I did not. Like, they think it's dope to tell a nigga, hey, look, me? I do it I my, no, Oh, no, I wish I had a it's team. It's over. You I, feel me? Yeah. Like, but, it's over. I mix all my stuff. Like, I just wish there was. That's why I needed a team, at least with like minded people. Like, we is not rich or in this shit. We have not figured it out. We're figuring this shit out together because, like, that's all I needed. I don't need even the person who's probably even already figured it out and then tell me exactly how to go about it their way. Like, we can figure this shit out together. I just need people with the same energy who is trying. Like, trying is a huge difference because people don't even wake up and try for themselves, bro. My like, team, that's kind of insane for my me. My team bro. span three people, me, my co-host, and my lady. Yeah. So when your manager dm it was either going to be me or her. That's it. No, There's no change. She dropped the emails, the templates, the... 
That's just that's it. No, I appreciate this, y'all back. This this his first and last day. Mm. He just. <laughs> 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 I feel that the nigga was free, and I was like, "Hey, yeah. you know what I mean?" Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, but yeah. you never even know this might. You feel me? Like this is nigga last day. But nah, anyway. fuck it, bro. That's what I'm like, bro. Like you would think so, and I thought it'd be like that for like moments, even with like the homie. Yeah, like, I'll be telling him, "Let's go do some shit," and you feel me? You will see it like kind of sparking a little thing in their eyes, and then like you feel me? Shit happens, bro. Life is life, so niggas be life, and they got shit to do, but. Bruh, once you stick to the mission, shit, and people, once you, you can weed them out easily, bro. One you can thing, find out who really do be like, nah, this is kind of hard. I love this. So one that's thing, it. though, you got to understand, too, and you kind of get it, because I say it with my co-hosts all the time. Yo, the, the passion and love I have for it, mm. you might love it, but you don't love it how I love it. Mm. So, like, you with a team, you with Dark Side and all that. Right. If they walked away from you today... Man. You would still make beats. Yeah. That's one thing I try to teach everybody yeah. who got to take. Yo, you got to love that shit more than more your than team. It. Yeah. Because people go through managers. Mm-hmm. People go through record record deals. People go through friendships all the time. And that shit breaks the business. No, that's facts. So, like, if you do if you do music and your man's right here do music, y'all a team. And y'all mm-hmm. have a falling out. One of y'all going to stop. Yeah. If y'all don't love it. Enough. And then one of y'all going. gonna go solo. There ain't no mm-hmm. hard feelings, bro, but I'm gonna keep going. And that's that, that's life. That's true. And that's why I'm trying to peep out those people who who just wake up and want it for themselves. Like they yeah. don't gotta wait for somebody to inspire them or like you feel me? Like they just wake up and say, like, I just wanna do it because I wanna do it. Like wanting to do it is literally a huge difference. Like huge, cause I feel you. That shit is like it's been a long road. Shit is not Nikki, shit is not all smiles, bro. Like you're only gonna see me turning up on IG, but it's been beefs behind this shit. It's been yeah, fallouts. It's been yeah. hang swung niggas. It's deep, bro. Yo, this how you think? Deep, yo, bro. how you think I feel? I'm the platform manager. There's somebody out here probably as an example. It could be somebody out here right now beefing with you and your team. Right. Don't have a problem with. You. I don't know right. y'all niggas even know each other. Right. Then I reach out to them and they like, oh nah, you have four seven up there. Fuck out of here, nigga. Right. I didn't know you knew this, nigga. Right. Like if, if this was this was all public. Right. You, you from New Jersey? I'm reaching out to you. Your music dope. Blah, blah. Nah, you had them niggas up there. Them <sighs> niggas ain't say nothing about y'all in the interview. <laughs> right. You nah, informing facts. me you got a problem that's with this facts. nigga. You're not even nah, because that man. recently just happened. I had a I had two guests hit me. They was boys at the time. One hit me. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get to you. The other one hit me. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get to you. I got to the other one first. He came up here did his interview. They still boys. Hmm. Yo, one random day I wake up. They on Instagram dropping diss records. Hmm. Now I'm like, damn, do right, I hit the, the other? Middle of it. Do I hit the other nigga up? <laughs> like, like, cause they both acts at different times. I didn't even know they was friends until they started dissing each other. Mm. They're like, oh yeah, my brother, you bitch ass nigga. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. All right, yo, what? <laughs> I'm like, yo, what's going on? Yeah. And I and I'm closer to the other one who came on the platform because I already met him. Okay. So now I'm sitting here like, I don't want to tell bro, I got space for him to come up here. And he looking at me like, oh, you don't want me to come up here because you had bruh. Right, it? It's like, yo, that's yeah. not what it is, bro. But don't put me in the middle of that shit, because bro ain't say nothing about you in his interview. Nothing, mm. not a fucking word. Hmm. Don't come yeah, up here like and that. be like, yeah. Nah, shit get mixy real, real quick. Real quick. And then, then, then you get mad when yo, where my episode at? In the garbage. Nigga, you was up here wailing. Like. Hmm. It be that, man. And that's like another thing, y'all. Come on, y'all. No bullshit. More love, though. I do feel niggas, bro. I be hating people, too. But like more love, though. I do feel niggas, bro. It's a lot of, like that type of energy, and it's not it, bro. I shit. It's not good for business. Not even a cute look, man. It's not cute. So my shit for the bitches. So I'm trying to like <laughs> no beef. Like I'm trying to have it neat around me. Right. Neat around me. Right. So yo, we got a game we play called Captain Facts, right? Okay. It's five okay. questions. Okay. It's five. Um, if you agree with it, it's facts. If uh, yeah, if you disagree, right. it's cat. Okay. Right. You just gotta explain why you picking what you picking. If I disagree, it's cap. Cap. If you agree, it's facts. <clears throat> okay. Right, you ready? I got to explain or it's just like a quick I, I, thing? If you want to explain it, you can explain it. I prefer you explain it. But if you don't want to explain some shit, <laughs> the first question I'm about to ask you, don't even need the explanation. Okay. Just cap a fact. Okay. All right. Stop the cap. That's how, that, this is how much when I say it's one hand. That's my son. Oh, wow. 
I love that. Can't find niggas to give me drops. That's my son. Stop the cat. And, and, and that's and, better and, for and, you. And this my lady. The fuck when the, are you talking the about? The time it? comes when they start handing out the breach to you. When, not if. When, <laughs> it's over. That's for all you. That's why we say your music in the water. beginning. It's over. I don't care what that's you think. I, that's tough, bro. That's tough. <laughs> all right. Stop okay. the cat. <laughs> so, first question. Cap of facts. Cap of facts. Overreacting has its consequences. Facts. That's the one I know that don't need no explanation because... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no matter what you do in life, you need a team to succeed. Levels to it, but yes. Uh, um, facts, 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 facts. I, I used to... I, I used to disagree with that shit, but then facts. I but facts. then I just named three people. It don't matter if your team, one to two people. You know what I mean? It's a so team. So I argue that. It's a team. It's facts. It's facts. So it's I said, facts. and I told my lady, I said, yo, you graduated college, man. Draw these emails up for me so I could mm-hmm. copy and paste these shits to whoever I want up mm-hmm. here. She was like, all right, mm-hmm. all right. Mm-hmm. If you don't enjoy doing it for free, maybe it's not the profession for you. Facts. Facts. A thousand <laughs> times, bro. Facts a thousand times. Facts without even thinking about it. Without even thinking about it. It's easy to fail. Than to succeed. It's easy to fail. Then succeed. Yeah. Um. Cap. Wait. No. Facts. 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 Ah! <laughs> cap. 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 I'm lying. Right, why is that cap? Because sometimes fear of success is real too, bro. Like niggas just be failing just because they don't even want to succeed. Literally. Like it'd be some dumb shit. Like even just paperwork, bro, is an easy as example, bro. I did not do my financial aid for college. I swear to God, for like four months. I did not know that shit took like 20 minutes to do. Ah, <laughs> like, I you, know, you, you be procrastinating, and then once it's done, it's like, oh, that was it? Bruh, it's fat. It's cap. It's way, it's easy to succeed, bruh, than fail. It's over. Right. Trying is succeeding. Trying, bruh, just try. Just try, right. bruh. Because I got to tell me, I'm talking to myself in this interview, too, nah, bruh. I got to try. Hey, look, just man, try. You talk your shit, man. Mm, I don't feel that. Um, The last one. I just read the motherfucker, so. The last one is hard work beats talent when the talent doesn't work hard. Hell fucking facts. Hell yeah, fucking with the, facts. With the Wu Tang clan y'all Hell building fucking in fucking facts. Rawway. Hell fucking facts. <laughs> nah, no bullshit. You said hard work beats talent, right? Yeah, hard work Hell beats talent. Yeah. So, like, so, like, man, you both good, but Hell you're yeah. better. I'm just outworking. Hell you. yeah, bro. Hell yeah, facts. Because as niggas work hard, bro, I be seeing the I most trash shit in my been. ads. That means they're in my ads, though. They got there, so they, I don't. None of my homies who are tough be running Instagram ads. Right. Oh, my God. Drop a bomb for that, please. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, it's the reason why I'm going I'm to say this. I don't know if you've tough seen... Tough niggas don't work because they know, they know seen, they're tough. I don't know if you've seen clips. My co-host is a rapper. Mm. A fucking beast. Mm. He working hard now. <laughs> yo, yo, but there yo, was a time this nigga... Get this. It was a time nah, this nigga... Now, nah, I say this... I'll you see this episode. I'll right. one better than that. The episode we got dropping next week before <laughs> yours, the episode we got dropping next week was mm-hmm. with a good friend of his. Okay. He's a photographer. On purpose, I made that nigga spend 20 minutes wilding on my co-host. Hmm. Like, I made him spend 20 minutes... Like, I was telling him... Like, he like, hey, son, you can't be fucking doing that. I did, I, did it, I did it on purpose. Because you hearing it from me, you yeah. my man. That's your man. Mans. You knew that nigga since you was like 11, my nigga. And then... Okay. He worked now. Like but the problem is he's not working? Or what? Nah, he worked. The promo part is with you. Okay, he, yeah. And I be telling him, like, yo, yeah. you need it. Like, he'll shoot a right, video. That needed, he'll right. shoot a video and send it to me. I'll be like, I ain't the nigga you need to show it to. <laughs> No, no. I know it, motherfucker. We friends. Like, facts. I'd be like, yo, I make your little trailers. <laughs> like, 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 it's like, I know you a good rapper. Yeah. You ain't got to send it to me. Yeah. Now, when he sent it to me, like, yo, what you think about this? What you think about that? Then we cool. Mm-hmm. But, nigga, yeah. you need to get the eyes. You got to work it. Because you're, like, you're, who, like, that's the thing. Like, think about the. I'm going to send him, like, I'm going to send him, I'm going to send you his music. Who's going to know you're tough if you don't send it to them or show them? Because that's why I be telling the homies all the time. Long gone are them days. We just gonna post on SoundCloud and niggas gonna find it, bro. Like, you literally have to get it to people's face, and it's a okay because that's the point of the internet. It's more people online today than what ten years ago, or whatever. So it's over. It has to be like, yo, you gotta get your shit out. You could be tough, but nobody gonna know that if you keeping it in your room. I'm so. about to play his shit for you. Okay. I'm about to let you hear him rap. To let you know, I know the nigga is nice. It's just, okay. it's unreleased, but. How this shit go? Yeah. 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 Y
this in it. Let's see if I can take this one off. I dead ass played the song last. We gotta run some promo. Yeah, Real thing, bro. You said there's a co host. This my co host. I usually say yeah. <laughs> Bills do. What the fuck you gonna do? You ain't got it. You ain't got it. That ain't nothing new. Looking at your closet, see that shiny 22. Mask hanging on the wall. That's what I really gotta do. Thoughts to yourself. Voices in your head, kicked out, locked up, or shot down dead. Young black American with a nine to five. Mm. That shit stopped playing. Hey. Nah, you got the voice. That shit clear too. Like, it's, it's vibes. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah. you. Nightmares wake you up, you really getting sleep And you got bills piling that your eyes never see And you ain't even saving, that's because you can't Feeling like you not trying hard, but you ain't asking for no hand Out, you rather thug it out Finally feeling what your elders used to talk about Really used to struggle, now you really struggle Pride's a motherfucker, you can't put that to the side Just surprise the motherfuckers when you actually survive And when you reach the top, look the bottom in the size The pain the pain, the pain, through the rain, through the rain, through the rain. Nah, I fuck with this though. We shall overcome. Cause, like, yeah, I feel like yo just push that push shit. Push it. Like mm-hmm. his last four music videos, he shot himself. Mm-hmm. Like I told, I told him like when I used the edit on the phone, mm-hmm. he he did that shit here. Like he came in here, sat down, set it up. He like just look at it for me. Took it home. I told him what I had to use. Shot his last mm-hmm. four video. I'm like, okay. yo, but you just got to be consistent. Consistent, my nigga. yeah. I mean, that's shit to learn, bro. Like, and, once yeah. again, you said, like, you even had to take that chance to just, it's shit. And bro, I'm a cheap everyday nigga struggles. Too. Like, we all learn. I'm shit. like the father from Everybody Hates Chris. This <laughs> shit hurt it when I bought that <laughs> shit, bro. I was looking at it like, I swear to God, I better become the biggest <laughs> nah, Joe Biden at the chance. Seven hundred dollars for this shit, Cause these lights, these nah. shits two for eighty. That ain't nothing. Nah, he said this better come with the fame. You buy. Nah, he said this better come no, with the really fame. No, that's really how I feel. Like seven hundred. Like, like yo, right now you make you make you make beats and all that, and you buy yeah. a new. I don't know what y'all yeah. use to make beats. Yeah. Say that shit ten thousand dollars. You yeah, saved man. up for it. This shit yeah, better make you. you Kanye that West. That shit better nigga. come with Kanye. You Kanye better saying? be right next to it. Like, nah, bro, change you gonna, that. You gonna be mad as fuck. Like, <laughs> it's over. Like, it, it was an investment, <laughs> but I understood. All this shit is resellable. <laughs> facts. Yeah, that's the that's best true, part yeah, about yeah, being facts. in content creator speak. That's very true. There's another nigga somewhere with throwaway money. I forget about that too. I like, never sold my shit. I just be tossing. Like if I get done with this shit, I'm like, yo, fuck this shit. That camera, seven hundred dollars. This seven hundred. I won't even sell it for a new price. And y'all can have this shit for mm. what I bought it for. Mm. I ain't yeah. gonna hype no price up. And this shit don't do like when I'm done, it go right in the bag and it don't see the light of day till the next Thursday. Mm-hmm. So it's in. Perfect condition. Nah, you can have this shit for what yeah, I want. I hear that. Run his numbers up so somebody else can buy this equipment. Oh, no, nah, I'm not selling it no more. It's a rap it. now. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, rap now. It ain't getting sold forget. no more. Y'all niggas done lost out. <laughs> I, done, I done had some niggas up here now. I done had niggas reach out to me. It's <laughs> rap. Ain't shit for sale. <laughs> forget, y'all. We can do a partner deal and give you some of that money, but ain't nothing for sale, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but once again, though, dude, I do want to thank you for coming nah, through here. No bullshit. I appreciate Take, you. Man. Taking time out your busy schedule. Because, mm, you. you know, you do everything. You like uh, Jersey's title the creator. Yeah. You do you do every yeah, fucking thing. That's a crazy so, example. I ain't going to lie. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because that's definitely one of the bros. I yeah. definitely want to imitate the career out there. It's definitely you feel that. me? So. I do yeah, want to thank you for coming through you. here, rocking with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fo, fo, fo. Tell them what they can find. Bitch. Um, find me at darksideindustries.net slash foe seven. That's literally our website. Um, that's my website. You can find everything there. Uh, merch coming soon. More shows and everything. I'll be performing and stuff. So pop out to one of the shows. Pop out to one of the artist events that we have. Um, shit, we be having, I told you, be hella shit. We be having yoga. Yoga events, smoke and chill. We better have a fucking... Think Shuddy doing a nude yoga or something in two weeks, bro. All types of crazy <laughs> things, same paint, paint and sips type vibes. Just come experience with the dark side homies. Um, yeah, darksideindustries.net slash fo seven, like fo seven f e a u x seven, fo seven spelled out f e a u x s c v e n. I don't know why I blinked on the seven, <laughs> but like fo seven, but like, yeah, um, there online, everywhere, shit is streaming. 
if you in Africa, you can still stream my shit. I make sure my shit get everywhere. So like, yeah, um, tune in everywhere. Like, I'm really trying to just make sure shit is experienced. People see it like it's better in real life, and this shit is possible. I'm regular. I'm a normal person. Like, I'm a human. I got ten fingers. So like, I'm here. And this shit is this shit is real. So it's better in real life, y'all. No bullshit. I can only explain how good my shit is on. With a podcast. I sip, I roll my weed up. Niggas trip, but they can't see us. Big plays when I'm on top now. I got this, kick your feet up. Watch how I double up now. It's gonna cost ten to see us.